Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this is Muhammad Ramadan Aisa. Uh, today I'm going to show you a short session about uh, provisioning a virtual machine um, by Terraform. Uh, Terraform is an infrastructure as a code uh, language. So um, it can help you to provision a lot of your infrastructure resources by code. Uh, this will uh, prevent anyone who can mess with your infrastructure because you will have uh, um, a source of truth, which is your uh, code files. So uh, quickly, I will show you now. This is a virtual machine in our uh, ECX. This name of virtual machine now is VM-2. And there is a business requirement or a batching to change the name of this virtual machine. Of course, we can change uh, a lot of configurations related to this machine, and I, I will show you now. Um, so, where are we? Okay. Just I'm typing the password. Uh, okay, so let's now check where are we first? Yes, and we need to go to our project. Okay, and here is our Terraform files. This is a file that contain the name of uh, our virtual machine. So let's open it in order to change it. Of course, uh, these files uh, can be protected from any change as well. And this can be happening uh, by adding your uh, code into one of uh, source control or version control systems like GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket. So this is the name I wanted to change. In that case, you are saving your configuration in one place. This is a good feature. So let's rename it as VM-1, for example. Let's save our changes. Now let's see the blend what will be changed. Uh, okay, so as you can see, the virtual machine will be replaced. And this is because I am changing the name. I don't want to change now. Um, this is the name, as you can see. VM2 will be changed to VM1. Of course, all of this configuration, you can change it and as bare as there, yeah, your change, even snapshots for the virtual machine, you can uh, run it by code. As you can see, the blend here is one to add and one to destroy. The destroy one is the old virtual machine with the old name, and the new virtual machine name will be added. This is a very uh, simple example uh, that can uh, uh, give you an example to understand what our the feature of using infrastructure is a good. So let's apply our changes. In the background, as you can see, the process is started. Yeah. And this is quickly a video. Um, what are the changes that you can do with your uh, infrastructure by code, not only some clicks on the console. Um, so this was a quick video. 
to show you uh, what is the changes that can be done. And uh, thank you for your time. Uh, please uh, return back uh, to me if you have any question. Mm. You can see this is a destroy is happening here. So VM2 has been destroyed. VM1 has been created and the power done uh, now. So this assembly uh, the future of infrastructure. And thank you for uh, your time. And see you uh, later. I'm open to any question as well. Um, thank you.